How good are Kuni Kuni's keeping for meat? There are definitely upsides and downsides to keeping them for meat. The upsides for us is we can breed our own and we can predominantly feed them grass. So their feed costs are a lot less. The downside of course are they are a lot slower growing and they don't get as big. Now this is some of the meat that we got from getting uh, a Kuni Kuni that we processed, popped them in the freezer. So this is a shoulder I think. And that's the size of one of the hams. They do make amazing bacon and they make amazing ham. Um, the fat on them because they've been grass fed is really tasty uh, and we did get quite a bit of extra fat that we could turn into lard. If you're looking for a quick fast growing pig these are not the ones for you but if you don't mind them taking a little longer and still being not the biggest pig then they might be a good option for you. If you have access to a lot of pig scraps that you can feed to pigs, you might find that feeder pigs do better for you. Kuni Kunis tend to get very fat when they're fed food as opposed to just eating grass, which as you can see is a bit of a problem with our boar here. He is a little bit overweight because we have kept him away from the girls while they've been recovering from having their babies. We don't want them getting pregnant too quickly afterwards. He has been eating lots of pub scraps and from restaurants and things and he is getting a little fat. We need to get him out onto the pasture. If you have more questions about raising Kuni Kuni pigs, I have written this book, which you are welcome to check out. I sell it both as a hard copy through Amazon, or you can get it as a PDF through my website. So I will link those down below as well. This is part of a quick series of videos that I'm doing, just answering really specific questions about keeping Kuni Kuni pigs.